Do you struggle with content creation from like actually creating it all the way through sharing it? If you fall off in any of those like crucial steps of actually getting your content created and out into the world, today's video is going to help you. This is for the solopreneurs or even the small teams out there that are looking for a blog or YouTube content workflow, something to help you go from idea to putting the content out into the world for your people to watch, love, and share with their friends. So stick around for that. If you're new here, hey, I'm Heather. I'm a Pinterest marketing educator. I own a Pinterest marketing consulting uh, agency, whatever you want to call it. We've helped hundreds of clients master Pinterest marketing as well as content marketing in their businesses over the last four years. So if that's something that you're interested in, let us know. Maybe we can help you out. And if you're new here, please subscribe because it helps our channel out overall and it lets you know when we're publishing new content. Win-win, right? So let's dive into today's video. We're talking about a blog and content workflow, basically to take your ideas from like idea to real life. And this strategy can work for you, like I said, if you're a solopreneur or if you're working with a small team, it doesn't matter. I use a tool called ClickUp. It's the newest kid on the block for all of the project management stuff. It's a pretty powerful and robust tool. You can upgrade and have a paid version and have even more accessibility, but even if you just wanted to use it in a free version, you can do that as well. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you kind of my process in the beginning, and then I'm going to take you into the computer and show you exactly what you need to do if you want to use the same workflow. So it all starts with batching. I batch everything. Everything in my business is batched down to my client's pin creation and tailwind schedule. Like everything. We batch it all. Um, so I batch outline all of my videos and blog posts. That's one outline. And then from there, I record the video and send that off to get edited. And then I take the blog post, write it and implement it on my website. And then before we even publish, there's more batching. There's batch image creation, batch scheduling, like all of the pieces are batched and it just helps to cut down on doing all of the things the day that the video or the blog post is supposed to go live. And then I set up a zap to go to my content hub. I have a content hub that houses everything I create in my business. All of my funnels, all of, all of my free content, my lead magnets, everything is in there. Affiliate links. So what happens is when I publish a new blog post on my website, Zapier zaps that post the date published and the URL to my content hub. That way, once it's done, all I have to do is add in any additional links like my YouTube video. And once that's all in there, it just makes it easier for future sharing. So now that you know kind of the upfront, the thought process behind this ClickUp tutorial, let's dive into the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do once I go from idea, like putting my ideas into actually creating the content. Let's dive right in. Okay, so we are inside of my ClickUp dashboard. This is a workspace. So a workspace is all of your ClickUp. So this right here, Ferris & Co. is a workspace. Inside your workspace, you can create different spaces. So I have two spaces inside of my workspace. I have one for my clients. So this is everything client like related. And then I have one for all of my business, marketing, funnels, all of that. So inside of this space, you create lists. A list is this item, this right here, what you're looking at. Now this is the board view of that list. This is the list view of that list. And you can see this gets crazy. We don't need to focus on all of this extra stuff right now. I'm just gonna show you in the board view how this works. So when I create a new idea or I put a new idea in here, I always put it in the ideas list. Now your statuses, these are called statuses. These are going to vary 
based on how you customize it. So you can always add a custom status like I did, or you can pull from one of their templates. I like to do everything my own. So I go with custom. So what I do in here is I create a new status, okay? So, uh, or a new idea. I drop a new idea in and you can see these are all the ideas I have for content creation this year. This, this is a lot. This isn't even all year. This is just a few months. So you'll put a new idea in here and it'll just add it to the, to the list. Now in this, you can actually automate this and I'll show you that at the end um, where it'll automatically add everything in your card that you need to do. Um, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop in here and this is the outline for this actual video. But what I do is I batch outline everything for my videos and then I put my drafted outline in here. This is just a custom field I put in, which you can find those here underneath the three dots, add a custom field, and then you can add custom fields in. So I outline all of my documents and I put them in the custom field. Then I give them a pillar. What is this particular item? Is it business related? Is it marketing? What is it? That tells me what kind of content I'm sharing. So I know if I'm creating too much of one pillar, I need to go to a different one. And then this is the progress of what's happening within the card. All of this you can customize. I'm not gonna go into how to do all of that but you can customize this to your liking. And then I add all of my keywords that I'm targeting for videos and not for Google for my website, but these are, these are for YouTube in comments over here. And then each of these has a section. So YouTube has a subtask, social media, Pinterest, blog, and newsletter. And then just basic to-dos for each item. So research keyword titles, uh, keywords and titles. I did it already. And you can see the progress outline is kind of, it's clicking off. Outline post or video. I did that already. And then I'm filming this video right now. So you'll see that it actually clicks up a little further. So 33%. And then once I write the blog post, I will then check this one off. So now within here, like within the subtasks for each item, you are going to um, drop in all of the things that you need to do for each one. So for YouTube, I need to have the video edited. Um, I need to create a thumbnail and upload it to YouTube, optimize it with all of my research, write the video description. My video description always comes from my blog post. So the first paragraph of my blog post is also my video description. It's because they're both optimized for Google. Um, within the optim optimization of the video, I actually need to insert cards and end screens. And then when I schedule the video, I need to copy the URL and put it in my content hub. Then from there, I just schedule it. And then on the day that it goes live, I actually go back to YouTube and I pin the video over to Pinterest. Now there's more in the Pinterest tab, obviously. Um, so we are going to pop over and I'm going to show you each of the others. So within social media, it's like creating, um, create the actual shareable video or graphic. So there's graphic creation and then there's sizing in here. Eventually I want to outsource this to someone else, which is why I put the sizing in there. So they know what size to create it from. Um, but this just tells me all the images I need to create and actions I need to take. And these are drag, like you can drag and drop these. What I do, I'm going to show you actually how to recreate this. So you only have to do it once. I create templates for everything. So what you're going to start with is a basic outline of like all the tasks you need to create. In ClickUp, you're going to need to create the like the checklist for each item. Once you build all of those out, then you're going to save this as a template. So you only have to do it once. So when you actually come back to create new pieces of content, all the system is already in place. So what you're gonna do is actually drop all of your to-do to list items in a checklist. Then from here, you're gonna click the three little dots and save it as a template. And you'll see when I pop in here, 
these are all the templates I already have created. So you can see these are all my YouTube templates. You're going to give it a name and click Save Template, and it'll give you a little alert over here in the bottom left-hand corner that your checklist is saved. So we're just going to create a checklist really quick. Uh, we're going to put a test item in. Then you're going to click Save as Template. And then whatever you're uh, naming, you know, whatever you want that to be. So you'll see it says Create New Template. It says New, Save template created. Now when you actually go to create content in the future, all of your ideas, like all of your workflow will already be in there. You can delete checklists, you can add additional checklists from templates. So if you want to add more template checklists in here, you can also do that. I reserve each subtask checklist to be very specific. Okay, so you've added your checklist. Now you need to save the entire thing as a template. But before we do that, I wanna show you just real quick inside the other subtasks. So you can see each one has its own checklist. So great pins, keyword research, tailwind, save it, to, um, pin it to tribes. And then the same for the other two, blog. This is the blog workflow. So all of the things that you need to do in your blog, and then all of the things that you need to do for your email, for email marketing, so for your newsletter. It's all in there, okay? Now, you want to save this entire template, this entire thing as a template. So what you're gonna do is on this test, I'm just gonna add this template and then I'll show you how to save it as a template. So this is YouTube. Okay, so you can see in my test content piece, like idea, it, said, uh, it has all of these items in here. I have all these things in here now. Now what you're gonna do, if you were just building this fresh and it's not saved as a template yet, just your checklists are saved. So you have to save your checklist as a template first. Once your checklists are saved as a template, if you want, you can assign each of these to yourself or to your team member. And then when you save it as a template, it will automatically add them to this item, to do item, when you add this template to a new content idea. So from here, you're gonna go to save as template and you can either choose one. So if you made a correction to your current template and you wanna overwrite it, choose your current template and click save. If you want to create a new template, then you're just going to type in the template name and you're going to click create new and go down here and save as template. Now you have a new one. It will populate over here after a few seconds. You have a new template. So every piece of content you now like put in as an idea has that template in there. Okay, now I want to show you how you can automate your tasks. So every time you create a new task as an idea, content idea in ClickUp, what you can do is add an automation. So when a new task is created, okay, right here, when a task is created, we want to assign a template, we want to apply a template. So it's this one right here, when task created, then apply a template. And then you're gonna choose the template. So whatever your template name is, you're going to put that one on it. So anytime a task is created, and you can add a condition to this if you want to, you have to have a certain level um, of like paid program if you want, but I just use this basic one. So when this happens, then this action is applied and then create, and then you have to turn it on. So it's turned on. And then after that, let's go to our board. And at the bottom, you'll, you can watch this happen in action. Testing automation. Save. And then just wait a second and you'll see, there it goes. 
all of those items are now added to that content idea. And that's it. That is basically my content workflow um, like piece of it. Now I'm going to show you how this works in ClickUp. So I told you a little bit about the, sta the statuses in here. So you always have to have an open list and a closed list. My open list I renamed to ideas and my closed list is just called closed. When I take an idea and I finish outlining the, the um, item and I've done all of my keyword research, then I'm going to go into um, writing and filming. So I'm going to move it over. And when I'm writing and filming, then I know part of this process has already been done. I'm probably waiting on some other pieces to be done, like filming. And then when I send it to the editor and I'm working on the blog piece of the workflow, I move it to editing. Once everything has been edited, has been scheduled in YouTube and on the blog, I then move it to scheduled. Now this item actually went live today. So I can go ahead and resolve all the items in the card and send it to closed. I don't actually use published. I'm not actually sure why I have this in here. You can remove statuses if you want to. And then now I just have a closed list. So I have a idea. So this is just my ideas. These are when I take an idea from just idea to actually creating that content, I move it over. Once I have moved it over into the writing filming, then that's when I start that process of actually creating content, editing, scheduled, done. That's it. It does not need to be super hard or difficult. This is my basic workflow. I actually work with a team with this workflow. So if you have a team you want to work with, you can do that as well. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Holy cow. I hope I didn't just blow your mind or confuse you in any way. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm not a ClickUp expert by any means. I'm not actually in their ClickUp, like whatever you call it. I don't test their new features when they come out. Um, before they roll out. I just, I'm a user of ClickUp and I love this platform. If you're interested in signing up for ClickUp for yourself, there's a link down below that you can use to get signed up and to test it out for yourself. You can sign up for a free, like paid version of it for like one to two weeks, I think. Then after that, if you'd like to upgrade, you can always do that in their settings. I personally pay for ClickUp, I love it. So. If you want to try it out, there's a link down below. There's also a link down below for the full blog post for this video. It gives you more details and it also gives you a place to go if you want to see what else we have out there in the world. So if you're new here, obviously I would love it if you would subscribe that way you can get new updates every week and it helps us out. Leave us a comment if you liked this video. Give us maybe a thumbs up if you are feeling frisky and we will see you next week. See ya.